Hello, so AD and in this tutorial we're gonna be going through Boolean and especially the union function in Boolean. So let's simply dive in with a key and delete everything. Let's go to top view. I'm gonna be dropping a simple um, cylinder and now follow down tap tap from my panel to wireframe mode. I'll select that here X and delete the faces. Go to front view. I want just that here from the process, I have just that mode being an object mode. So I'll go ahead and increase my height, Control C and Control V. Or let's press Shift and D to duplicate. Shift and D. I'm gonna right click and now I'll flip that 90 degrees on X axis. There we go. So now we have the basic shape. What I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna select the object, now I'm hit forward to the yeah. But if I was apply boolean. I'm gonna select the union, click the eye picker, I'll go and grab the second cylinder, and there we go. So, we may sense that the topology is not nice, and we get tricky and tricky topology here, but that's fine. I'll show you what's happening here. We have an overlap cylinder, which is gonna be that one here. I'll delete that, and I get that simple shape. Now forward, I'll go ahead and check if the boxes are modded, and by G. I'll move them on the side and yeah. So let's go ahead and show you as well a bonus tips how to adjust that shape here and increase your workflow when it comes to 3D modeling. I'll go ahead and grab these here, scale them up. Now with that being set, I'll go and select these here, right click and extrude the edges. Left click with the job view now, I'll go ahead and scale these up here. Now again, front view, right click and extrude the edges. Let's click, I'll scale them up once more. Stop to right click and extrude the edges. Left click. I'll go ahead and to solid mode and get that shape here. Now forward, I'll go and press 3. I go and apply my the, the function here as well. So I'll go ahead and point view. Right click, extrude the edges. Left click, scale them up here or down this time. And let's go ahead and right view. Right click, extrude the edges. Left click, I'll scale them down here. Now we're gonna end, add in as a for loop here, so I'll throw them once more. I'll scale them down into one here. And we get that shape here, so let's go ahead and support that area. Control R here as well. And inside here. One in the middle as well, because a lot of artists don't do that, but I prepare to do that just because I wanna make it the topology look nice. I'll go ahead and S Y0. There we go. Y and Y axis. Once more, I'll go Control R here, drag it on the side, and one here as well. So Control R, S Y zero, proceed, and I'll go ahead and do that here as well. And here, S X S Z zero, sorry, and G and Z on the axis. Control R S Z zero. Control R. Left click as to zero. We need three loops here, so I'll go ahead and stamp one more here. Control R, left click. We end up with that shape here. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna be applying a mirror modifier. First of all, I'll go and select that piece here. I'll be gonna wire for mount. I'll just select that here. And that is well. So I'm gonna extend the way the faces. So I'm with that shape here, and now the next step is to apply mirror, so mirror the object on y axis, and on z axis as well, so I'm gonna, there we go, now I'm gonna increase my ratio a little bit more, up to uh, 0.8, I proceed with applying the modifier, while being an object mode of course, alright, so I get that, simple shape here and that's the method how to work with hard surface as well in addition uh, we need to be careful with the uh, topology we need to apply union operation because not all objects gonna get the uh, issue fixed at one one press sometimes you need to spend hours and hours to prepare the topology so I'm gonna be applying subdivision surface as well so subdivision let's go ahead and proceed uh, with the uh, three object mode and get that kind of nasty yeah, loop curve but we could remove that by the way not an issue so what we're gonna do here I'm gonna leave the uh, subdivision 
and now I'm gonna go to wiper mode, tap to edit mode, select that loop in the middle here. Now you move by distance. I'm gonna increase the ratio a little bit more here. So let's go ahead and do that from front view. I can select everything here and that as well. And M mode by distance. So I'll go to third mode and I'll see if I could just increase my ratio a little bit more here to couple. Okay, let's pick the point one here, should be enough. And now let's apply subdivision. But before that, I'll go and I select everything, move by distance. And we should just go ahead and try to increase that uh, a little bit more here. So everything seems to be perfect on the left side with point one. Let's go on point three. I'll put point four. I'll see if that can work in my case. And yeah, it do a uh, great job here. So let's tap to object mode. I'll go on subdivision surfaces. And with that all set, I'll put four here just to see if I get better results. Apply. Now we have that basic shape here. So I'll go ahead and apply a new material. You don't want to decrease my darkness here. Metallic up, reference point three. And apply the render mode on the right hand tip corner. So I hope you like this simple introduction for the union operation in uh, Boolean. And I'll see you in the future tutorials. If you have any questions, don't forget to drop them in the comment section. I will answer them. Um, yeah, thanks for watching and take care.